Hello, everyone. I am hoping that you can hear me. Let me check and make sure that we are having sound. My sound should be here. Um, it's showing up on my uh, cell phone over here, which I'm going to be switching to and everything else. So we are going to be working on a stamp set. I'm going to hold it up. It's probably going to be backwards to you guys. Well, I guess not. Wildlife Wonder and everything. So it is a stamp set I have not worked with. I have tried to pull things out. And if you'll notice the title of this one, A Bear of a Day. I hope you're getting a kick out of that one. There we go. Okay. So it looks like I have got sound. So if somebody can make a comment. I would appreciate it. But anyway, what I was saying is the fact that I entitled A Bear of a Day. Um, when I originally scheduled doing the Facebook Lives on Tuesday at 2 o'clock, my mentor had a schedule of 11 o'clock Facebook. Fine. No problems. And then she had her other one that was her Zoom meeting at 12 o'clock on Wednesday. Well, she decided to put everything on Tuesday. And so that meant I've had two meetings already today. I have hopefully got everything gathered up what we need. And I grabbed my cutter. I have my bone folder. So I'm hoping that this is going to work. And then my other thing is the fact that... Um, so this has just been absolutely, absolutely of a crazy of a day. And that's why I titled Bear of a Day. And then I'm having a website. <coughs> Pardon me. A website redone and everything else. Um, so I'm having that worked on. <coughs> and that was not going smoothly on making the transition to getting my guy to work on it. He kept having questions in between everything else. So... That hence the title, A Bear of a Day, because we are working with the bear stamp set. And I'm having a bear of a day, but I am happy you're here. So I am happy that we can get on this. Um, originally, I was thinking of making four cards, and I apologize, not having the time to make the fourth special card. Um, may do it at a later point. Um, but we will make at least three, and we'll get through that part of it. Then the other thing is I want to remind you tomorrow is the last chance on the um, retiring products. That list will be out. And as soon as I can, and I've got it together, I will send you an email with that list tomorrow. If you are on my email list, if you are not on my newsletter list, you will not get the message. Um, I may stick it quickly in a blog and I am still trying to figure out how I'm going to do this on the fact that originally tomorrow was going to be a technique day, but I may turn it into some kind of post day. I haven't made up my mind. I may even post the cards that I put up today and refer to the video and do that tomorrow. Because on Friday, because I'll have more time, I'm going to have sit down with the catalog, gone through, marked out everything that's retiring out, and I'm going to pull out some of my projects and some things, and we're going to have a special video on Friday. Now, I haven't decided if I'm going to do it this way or if I'm going to put it on YouTube. I would rather do it on Facebook Live, so if I can do it that way and this would go smoothly, we'll go ahead and do it. So, but, so I'm making a change on schedule. So if you don't see a technique tomorrow, I'll have a technique next week. And I'm sorry for changing things around, but that's the way it goes sometimes on a schedule when others come in on it. So now, let's do this. I want to see if I can turn the camera over to all right i'm going to enter the studio i need to put a name in so sorry i'm just going to put bear 
save the time. Okay. All right. So, so now I, I'm going to, I muted, I muted the one, and I'm going to remove myself. So now what I'm going to do is put this up, and I'm going to see. Got it. Okay. All right. I know you're getting dark. So I'm going to. There we go. Yeah. Okay. We should not be getting a double on this. I wonder if I should try the mic. I hate to do that. Let's see what I can do. Guys, give me one second. I don't know if I can figure out how to mute this. Mic. I'm there. And then I'm going to unmute. I'm going to mute here. Okay. Now I'm moving my laptop off to the side. And we're going to start making some cards. So let's pull some of this stuff. Okay. I'm going to pull, I'm going to pull myself over. Okay, now. Uh, I see. I hate to have to take the camera off the stand, guys. So let's see if this works. All right. First up, I'm going to stamp the bear. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to try to talk less. I apologize. Yeah, I don't want to end myself to the stream. First up is stamping it in the black ink. Okay. The designer series paper I've got is the friendly one designer series paper. But let me grab the catalog. And I see the bears upside down. There. And I'm going to try to stamp him. All right. The paper I used is this one here. Beauty of the Earth is the one I used for this project. And I want to restamp him. Well, that's not going to work. I guess it's not going to work. I got to recut the paper if I'm going to redo that. So, the paper size is four. 
five, three, and three fourths. And I know you're getting an echo. And I don't know what to do about it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that didn't work. Yeah, I need three and a half. So this needs to be four by three and a half. Okay. Let's see if that's going to work on the paper. No. I bet it was. I apologize, guys. I made this the other day. Okay, now, once I get it figured out, I'll give you the measurements. Okay. The paper is four by three and a fourth. And that means the black is a, is a quarter inch bigger. And normally I stamp and I didn't. So let's just hope he goes. Okay. He looks better. You guys chat away. Put your comments in, what you think. So now my next move is to put the designer's paper down. We're getting at least the image. We just need to get the sound figured out. Okay, that goes. Okay, this black piece is one and a half by four inches. And I'm going to put it right about here. And I think it could have been a little bit longer. And then I'm going to put the bear on top. I gra grabbed the one that says uh, sending birthday wishes. Okay. So I stamped that in black in the mental black ink. Now, as I said earlier, I'll have the link tomorrow for your last chances on the retirement list. Now, I didn't bring out my card backing. You all know that I go ahead and always do it in a basic white. So I'm going to leave it without the backing. But that would be your completed card. Okay. Let's do Next one, I've done a little preparations. I'm going to try turning the sound down a little and see if that helps. All right, let's see if that's any better, guys. Okay, this one here is really unique. I went over, let's see if you can see it. I'm trying to get in camera range. Okay, now let's see if that's any better. I'm going to move the camera down a little. Okay, there we go. This is the one that's to the moon. And you've got the moon right here. 
And so what I did was I stamped it and then I punched it out with the two inch punch so that I have the moon. And I did it in a smoky slate already. So I've done it for you. Now, the paper I'm starting to use is this paper here that is the um called the new horizon and i have to show you some of this paper because i'm starting to use it and i'm probably going to order more of it and i'm afraid it's going to retire out and i'm going to start ordering but look we're going to use that blue right there but look at the colors absolutely gorgeous there's your pale papaya and you pick up the pale papaya. Remember the other day I did a cart, and I hope you got my newsletter today because I did it with the bear also that had the pale papaya in it, I think, or it was Monday. I think it was today. And so this paper is just gorgeous. So you need to get the New Horizon paper. You can picture the bear walking through that. So that's the paper I'm using. And for this one, I've got Knight of Navy. And I'm going to put it on like this. And then I want to get my words that I want to use, which is a note of thanks. And I know one thing I forgot to grab. So I am going to go grab it, guys. And I need a small stamp in it. Hang on. All right, the ink I chose to use for this is the Whisper White. And that's because I want it to stand out on the other. And I want to make sure that it is stamping on the right spot. So now I'm going to bring this over. It's upside down. So that's why you do this. And I had to do it on a color in order to be able to see. Now, I'm going to put this right about here. And then if I need to, I will cut my paper shorter. But I think it's going to fit. It's fitting. So now I'm going to take this. And normally I stamp, but I didn't on this one. And I know I said we're working on the bear, but for this one, we're going to work on the wolf. And I'm hoping this works. I've got, I want to grab Knight of Navy. I apologize. I've been using Misty Moonlight on some, but on this one, I'm going to use the Knight of Navy. And we're going to hope that this shows through. Okay. If not, we're going to have to figure out. Mm -hmm. Not showing like I want. Okay, it's not. Okay, so what I'm going to do, it's not showing. I had not tested before. So I'm going to stamp the wolf. And I'm not going to stamp him in navy. I'm going to stamp him in basic gray. So I'm changing. Hang on. Okay. I'm changing it. 
I just had hopes it would show through, but it was not. So. Okay, it's still showing up because I didn't clean my ink thing. Because I didn't bring my ink clean around. Okay, I'm going to go with this and I'm going to bring my cutter over and I'm going to cut. Okay, so I'm going to start. I'll give you measurements once I get this done. And I know I've got a little blotch here. So I may try to re-stamp him. Okay. And guess what I misplaced as usual? I misplaced my ruler and my little small snips. There we go, flip it. Well, I'm getting marks regardless. Okay, we're just going to go with my marks. I do have a, an ink eraser in the room. Okay, now let me give you my measurements on this. Okay. So this is two and a half by a little over one and three fourths. So you can make it at two. And I'm going to put it here. And I hope I can cut straight with the world. Because I do want to cut it down just a little, but it's not going to make a difference. And I'm going to put him right there. Now, I'm just going to go with this. You guys can play with this and decide if you want to use uh, maybe one of the scallops, uh, contour and scallops, or one of the tag things, the hippopotamus, or any of those. You could go through your set, see what you've got. And then you could put put it on there. Okay, so there's that part of it. Now we're not done yet. I gotta figure out where I set it. Because I stamp the moon and he goes on here. All right, where'd it go? I thought I had it just here a minute ago, guys. The moon. Move this off. I know I had the stamp set. That's not what I'm looking for. I had pre-done. If I have to, I'll re-stamp. But I had pre-done this. And I showed you my moon, remember? Oh, dear me, oh my. Okay. Well, I'm going to quit looking. Watch. We'll probably find the moon after we get all done. Okay. I guess I do have a couple of backings that we could put on. Wait a minute. I found him. So now I'm going to put it on there. So that's what I was doing. I was going to get the moon up there. And I really wanted to have him square on the paper. Okay, we're going to go with this. So there's your other card. Now, remember I told you there was pale papaya paper design. I pulled that one out. And I was going to pull out some designer series paper out of this group. Okay. So we're back to this paper. So let's take a look. We can use this one. I don't recommend that one.
There is this one. It's got a little papaya in it. I'll use this one. You know, it's by whatever way you really like it. So, this one is cut at four by five and a fourth. Okay, and we're going to have that there. And I'm going to cut this down. And I think... trying to decide what I want to do. I don't think I have the horizon and the black cardstock. Okay, so if I'm going to use black cardstock, don't mind me, I'm re-looking at it in a minute, guys. Okay. Let's see if I like that on black. Yeah, that's not bad on black. I think I'll do this one. So now I'm going to cut this in. This is a six inch by six inch. So I'm going to cut this as six, as three. So essentially I'm cutting it in half. And then I'm going to grab black. Okay. By Okay, so this is your standard fold and everything else. And I can put this on like this if I want. Love to see your comments. And put it on like that. And then put my paper on right kind of in the middle. Okay, so now I want this at five and a fourth. And because I want a little more pink showing, I will cut this off first. And then I will turn it around and I will cut off the bottom too. Do you understand what I'm doing? In other words, what I did was I cut a little off the top, a little off the bottom so that it's not totally all of the pale gone, yet we can use it. Okay, so now I've got that. And then what I want is the owl. And I'm going to put him on. And I'm going to stamp him. And I think I might do him in a circle. So let's see what we're going to do. Okay. All right, now I want to do him. I'm going to do him in the black. Okay. An owl could be gray, an owl could have black. I'm going to do it in the black on this one. Let's see what we think. So now I'm trying not to be out of camera range, guys. I'll move this over. So now. I've got him, I've got a small punch, and I still love my punches. So if you don't have the punch, then use your layering circle punch. That one is smaller. I don't know that I want the two inch. Well, maybe I do. Okay, now I've done a two inch. Notice I haven't totally got everything fastened down because I'm still playing with it. Okay. Then what I'm going to do, but I had some twigs here. Oh, here it is. You're wondering what I'm doing. I'm digging out this little 
tweak right here that's on here. And I'm going to take it. And I'm going to stamp it down in the corner on the paper because I think it's light enough. Okay. And then I have over here some dimensionals. So let's get this fastened down. Use your snail. And I guess I did not hook the other down. So I'm going to move this off to the side for a moment. And I don't know if I told you the measurement on this designer series paper. Yeah, I told you. It is three inches, remember? Boy, my day has been crazy. All right. I don't know about you, but I'm looking forward to just this evening curly up in the chair with the cat. Now, I would normally use bigger dimensionals, but I didn't bring them out here. So I'm just going to use these if I can get them on. There. Normally, I wouldn't use so small of a dimensional, but I didn't bring out all the dimensionals. So, and rather than go running in there on you guys. There. As I said, I'm looking forward to evening and just curling up. I don't know what kind of shows you like, but I love the FBI group that's on tonight on channel eight. So I'm looking forward to doing that. Okay, so now I've done this. Move that in here. You can see I've done the owl. Get my lid back on. Now I didn't do a greeting. If you want, you can put a greeting across the top. That is purely your choice. Now the next move is I'm putting this in here. And I'm fasting. And this is the artfully paper that's got the leaves in the mini catalog. So that's the one I used for the papaya one that has the papaya color right here is the artfully. And then this is the horizon. And I think this is kind of turning out a little cute. If I ask, say so myself. Okay. Now I am, do have a cardstock here. I can fasten it down. And some of you guys wonder why I don't do total like black because then I'm going to have to put a white piece. Well, it looks like my ink ran out there. I have to put a white piece on the inside. And I would rather than have to worry about putting a color on the inside, and getting it centered and doing that. For me, it's a lot easier to do that. Okay. So now there's the card. So now let me show you again. Here's the wolf that I kind of messed up, but then I recorrected and put him on there. Okay. And here is the bear. So we've got three different cards done with that one stamp set. So I'm hoping this gave you some ideas and I'm hoping that you enjoyed this idea. And I think we've got some maybe straightened out. I think we've got the whole system set up and I'm hoping that this will work a lot better and everything else. I had spring break last week and had a lot of things I was doing and I did not take a lot of time stamping or anything else. I got our newsletter out and then the other one went today. So, I hope you have subscribed to my newsletter because that one usually has a fair amount of information plus always has a free card and I'm always working out. So if there is something in the newsletter and you're subscribing and you are saying, oh, gee, I wish you do this or, oh, gee, I wish you do that, then by all means, please scoop me an email at Pamela at Stampin' Pink Rose. I would love to hear what you're looking for. What do you want me to make? What do you want to see on Facebook Live? And then you can also tell me what do you want to see on techniques or on the Friday video folds where we're doing a focus on something.
So I hope this gave you more ideas. I want you to have a great day. Take care and thanks for joining me today.